Welcome to Connecting Hawaii Business on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kathleen Lee, owner of Kathleen Lee Consulting, and I am your host for this program. This show is currently live streamed on thinktechhawaii.com as well as on Think Tech Hawaii's Facebook and YouTube pages. And viewers like you have the opportunity to ask us questions throughout the show by emailing them to questions at thinktechhawaii.com. For today's show, we are going to be talking about mentoring young professionals. And I am excited to introduce this particular guest since he's my mentor. So I'm actually part of the sixth cohort of the Young Professionals Program of the Chamber of Hawaii's um, Mentor Hawaii Program. So um, I am introducing today Kurt Osaki, CEO of Osaki Creative Group. Hello, Kurt. Welcome to the show. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Great seeing Hi. you. Great seeing you as well. And thank you for um, agreeing to be on the show. I know you don't like me mentioning it, but it is your birthday today. So. <laughs> I try and forget about it. Uh, you know, you get to be my age, you try and forget as much birthdays as possible. That's, I mean, like, you know, for the viewers out there, um, my, I first met Kurt in person. So we had been having Zoom meetings through the program, but I first met him in person on my birthday as well. <laughs> so somehow this seems appropriate. Um, but Kurt, tell the viewers about yourself, your professional background, um, and how you came about to uh, become the CEO of Asaki Creative Group. Okay. So good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Kurt Osaki, President of Osaki Creative Group. Um, I'll give you a really quick run through about my life and my business, but um, I'm from Kauai from um, Kapa High School. I graduated at the University of Hawaii, then I went to Art Center um, College of Design in Pasadena. Um, in 1995, I started Osaki Creative Group um, in San Francisco, California. So basically thinking that I'm gonna stay up there for five years, I ended up staying at half my life, 20 something years. And I've been in business for 26 years now. I still have an office in Berkeley, California, and I have an office in Honolulu, Hawaii, and we specialize in marketing and branding, kind of an overview, yeah. Very awesome. And I, I remember when I was first reading up on you, you and your company came up with the Hawaii logo, is that correct? Correct. Um, that was probably one of my um, favorite and memorable projects I worked on. Of course, I'm a true blue or true green Hawaii fan. So, um, it, you know, it was an honor um, to design the logo back in 2001, I think, or 2000, 2001, and to see how the program has been built and how the brand has grown through the years. And I remember when we were talking, you said one of your, um, when you were starting out, one of your first clients was the NFL as well. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess people get lucky once in a while, but um, when my, not one of my first clients, they were their first client. I did not have any clients at the time. And I get this call from a, um, someone at in New York that says, hey, I'm from the NFL, do you have some time? Do you have some time to work on some projects? I said, I got a lot of time and the rest is history. I worked with the NFL for maybe about a good solid eight years, I think, until, you know, I feel I basically started doing more work with NHL and collegiate sports. Wow, that's amazing. Um, let me launch into how you heard about the Mentor Hawaii program. So, um, and, and just as a note, for those who are interested in the program, you do fill out um, like a questionnaire before you get selected, and they ask you what types of qualities you look for in your mentor. And I my biggest one was that my mentor had to be kind because <laughs> I do a lot of tough love on myself. So I um, am super appreciative to have been connected with you, Kurt. So thank you to the YPs and thank you to you for being who you are. That being said, uh, talk to us about how you found out about the Chamber of Hawaii's uh, Mentor Hawaii, Chamber of Commerce of Hawaii's Mentor Hawaii program. Well, for me, it was easy because I, um... I am on the board at the chamber. And so we do talk a lot about what all the initiatives from the chamber and then there was discussion about this whole mentorship program. And I basically started asking more and more questions. And for me, I, I think mentorship is my greatest um, pleasure in life. 
in terms of, you know, I feel like I have a lot of experiences that I can share. I think everyone has a lot of experiences they can share. I think the most important and I think um, thing that you can leave behind, I think in life is if you can mentor someone, you can leave your experience with them, you can teach them. That's why, um, you know, my mom was a teacher and I always respected teachers. So I'm hoping that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that I'm kind um, so far, but, you know, I've had a great opportunity with Ka uh, Kathleen so far. We had a great time together and there's a lot more that we got to accomplish right along the way. I agree. Um, and on that note, why you sort of touched upon it already, but why do you think um, executives like yourself should consider being a mentor to young professionals? I'm still a young professional. I'm considering myself a young professional for the purpose of this is of the show. But believe, believe me, I'm still considering myself a young professional yet. <laughs> well, I'm trying to fool myself, but I think it's important. I, I, I think it's important to, you know, I was brought up to um, Family was important. You take care of your family. I feel like my community is my family. Um, I feel like my office is my family. And um, as much as I, I think it's extremely important for us older generation to pass down that knowledge to, you know, whether right or wrong, but I think that experiences can help the younger generation in terms of how they move on and progress. I mean, people talk about they be, being a visionary or they have this vision for Hawaii. Part of the vision is to help, you know, share that vision with the next generation. And hopefully they can take that torch and bring it along to the future. And I, I you know, I just completely believe in that. A lot of times, you know, um, in our culture, we tend to say, you got you to gotta work for it. You got to earn it. You know, what does that really mean? You know, I think if I can mentor someone at a younger age, you know, to me, they're going to have to prove it through the whole process. But I think um, it's going to be so much better. It's going to make our community. It's going to make society. It's going to make our, um, you know, business climate, I think, a lot better. Well, what are some of your, so far, because uh, how, how many years have you been doing this part? The mentorship program? I, I think this is three years now. Wow. Okay. So that's halfway through the program. So you've been with it for a few years. So what are some of your favorite parts about it? Oh, for sure. Meeting people like you, you know, I, I enjoy meeting people. I enjoy mentoring people and see them grow. You know, um, uh, you know, my biggest enjoyment is seeing your success one day, you know, and I'm hoping that maybe something you know, that I had mentioned or advised you to has helped you reach that point. You know, honestly, that's my biggest joy in life, I think, and in business, I think, yeah, too. But, um, you know, just meeting people, you know, um, I was just mentioning to you, you and I know my former mentee, which is um, Luke, and he and I still hang out together a lot. And we still, he's taught me more than I've taught him. You know, we, 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 we had to go through this whole pandemic together, but the guy was so positive and he, sh he taught me. So I think what I learned from other people, I think not only their experience in their lives, but just everything, I think that's what I really get out of the mentorship program. Well, what are some, I think we can go into this one question before we go into break. So what challenges have you faced so far? as a mentor? Challenges. Mm -hmm. Challenges, is, I think it just basically comes down to time and scheduling. You know, um, luckily, you know, I always try and look at the positive things of what happened, you know, through this whole pandemic and we've learned to do things online, you know, through Zoom. Um, so that made us connect each other to each other a lot better, but, um, it's just the time, it's just finding time, right? I mean, Kathleen, right now you're away. When you're here, probably I'm away. Just finding that time. And I think um, for me, as you know, it, it does bother me, but I really want to find time to help you. You know, and we got to make time. You know, at the end of the day, it's about just making time. And so to make that time, and as you know, running your own business is very difficult to make time sometimes. 
That's true. I absolutely agree with that. It looks like we have time for one more question before going on break. So, so far, what are some lessons that you have learned as a mentor? I have learned. I learned that we all go through very similar experiences, no matter what um, careers or type of businesses. I've learned that um, we need to be open to learn from one another, whether you're a mentor or a mentee. Um, I've, I've learned that um, by giving, you get, you know, in a lot of ways, a lot back. And for me, for giving whatever knowledge I can provide my mentee, it helps, it is, it's, to me, it's fulfilled me in a lot of different ways. You know, and I, I, I encourage people, I tell people the greatest thing you can give is yourself and your knowledge and your experiences to each other and your caring, you know, at the end of the day, is how much you care for one another. I think that's really important. It's not just about the business aspects, but about people, right? Taking care of people, being good to one another. So that's a lot of things that I've learned. Those are some really good lessons, Kurt. So we are going to go on break, but when we come back, we will pick Kurt's brain even more about um, being a mentor to young professionals. So we'll go over that when we return. Stay tuned. Mitch Ewan, host of Hawaii, the state of clean energy on Think Tech Hawaii. Hawaii, the state of clean energy is about following the many clean energy initiatives in Hawaii. Hawaii, the state of clean energy appears weekly on Think Tech Hawaii at 4 p.m. on Wednesdays. Thank you so much for watching our show. We'll see you then. Aloha. Welcome back to Connecting Hawaii Business on Think Tech Hawaii. My name is Kathleen Lee, and our guest for today is Kurt Osaki of Osaki Creative Group. So, Kurt, when we left off, we were talking about you being a mentor and the value of being a mentor to young professionals. What do your mentees, is that even the right word, mentees? <laughs> I think it is, but well, I've been using it, so sorry. <laughs> okay. So, what do your mentees typically seek from you as far as advice or assistance go? Like, what do they look for when they get partnered up with you? Um, you know, I mean, big picture, the pathway, you know, what the pathway to success, your pathway, you know, a lot of my mentees always ask me about my path and what I went through. And for me, I think the best learning experience is to tell them about all the things that I failed in, you know, if you call it failure, but you know, all the things that I failed in and uh, the potholes that I've been through. Um, and I think that's the most you know, important thing. I think, um, you know, frequently asked questions also is about, you know, networking, I think is a big one and how you network. I believe everyone has a network. It just needs to connect the dots. Um, it's just need to understand how to connect the dots, you know, and it takes a lot of work. And um, at the end of the day, what a lot of questions that come to me is how difficult was it? And it's very difficult. I mean, um, to run your own business, um, you know, there's, there's, it's 24 seven, basically, you know, you go sleep at night, worrying about your business, you go sleep at night, worrying about your um, employees. So, you know, it is very difficult. And the, those type of questions I've been asked a lot. Okay. And um, 
I believe that a lot of times people do join programs like the Mentor Hawaii program to see how they can advance in their careers. You sort of talked about this already, but what are some pieces of advice or lessons that you um, have for like up and coming young professionals? You know, I think the mentorship program is really important. And in fact, as much as I can continue it, I will continue it as much as I can give, I will give. But, you know, um, I, you don't have to join something like that to be a mentor to someone. I think every day you could be a mentor in your office, whether, and you don't even have to be a, off, a, a business owner to be a mentor. I think, you know, whether you're a father, a mother, or anything, you are a mentor, and you should look at it as that. And uh, um, if you work in a working environment, you may not be the owner or the president of the company, but you do work around people that you can mentor and everyone can mentor. And I think people forget that. You know, I think people forget that we are mentors every single day of our lives to other people and people are watching, people get affected by it. So I think that's really important, but I really think this program is important because it sort of is, you know, obviously it's structured, but it keeps you in line, you know, especially as business owners, it's very difficult, like I said, finding the time. What about yourself, Kurt? Um, did you have mentors or individuals that you looked up to that you took lessons from that you're now applying? Um, now that you're in that position where, for instance, you're you're my mentor. So anything that you've learned from the folks that came before you or people uh, that you looked up to? Absolutely. I was, um, I was extremely fortunate. Even to this day, I still have a lot of mentors, whether they're younger or older. And that's another point. You don't have to be older to be a mentor, you know? So younger or older, I have a lot of people that I think have mentored me, have inspired me, especially, um, you know, um, you know, just, I, I mentioned that about everyday life, about mentoring people, but j just, you can say something so simple to someone or compliment someone, and that can make a huge difference throughout the rest of their lives, because I still remember a lot of these things from my mentors or people that were not traditional mentor to me, but they just gave me advice and it's been a great help, you know, in terms of in all facets of life, um, not only running a business, but also being hopefully or trying to be a really good human being. I like that. Yeah. I, I'm actually curious about this. So on our end, on the mentee side, we as I mentioned earlier, we filled out a questionnaire of preferences without the guarantee that we were going to be matched up with someone that would be like the right fit. And I think, I, I mean, that happens organically anyway. Did you folks have to do that? Did the mentors have to fill out something too? Or was it just like super arbitrary? I'm almost certain we did fill out something, but you know, I have a hard time remembering what I did this morning to be honest, but yeah, we had to fill out a form, I think. But I, I don't think it was such as we wanted to be matched up with so-and-so. It was more just our information. So, you know, I mean, I, I, I think um, they try and match you up by profession, which makes sense. But in a lot of ways, it'd be great to be, I think, mixed up too with different professions, you know, uh, see different perspectives, you know, not only right-sided, thinking, right brain thinking, but left brain thinking. And, you know, I, I think that might be interesting also. Yeah, I agree. Um, is there anything else that you would like to add that I didn't cover, I didn't ask about? Oh, um, I don't know what I want to add. I mean, I, I kind of just want to repeat how important it is to be a mentor. And as I mentioned, it does not need to be any in any formal structured um, program. I think every day you are a mentor you know, to someone out there, or you can be a mentor to someone. And I think it's so important, especially here in Hawaii. You know, in Hawaii, you know, we talked about that whole family and Ohana thing, but you know, that's who we are and we should live by that. You know, we should help people. You know, we talk about our future generation, our next generation, the future or, or the past or whatever. But I think that's the greatest thing you can leave behind is that experiences or that knowledge or that advice to someone that can make Hawaii a better place. And I think it, it makes a big difference. It can make a big difference. 
I absolutely agree with that. I, I just thought up of another question. As far as people who are seeking mentors go, um, what are your thoughts on what expectations they should have when they are looking for someone to be a mentor to them? You know, I think you got to lower your expectations a little bit because, um, as I mentioned, the time factor is the hard one for all of us. And I, I know a lot of other mentors in the program and they go through the same thing too. Um, yeah, you know, the personality I think is important, matching up with the right personality and likings. Like uh, Kathleen, I know you like golf, so we gotta go out and golf soon. I think that makes a big difference. It's not about just sitting at a table and talking or on the phone or anything, but, you know, shared experience. Um, you know, but, you know, I think you have a goal, have, have something in your mind that what you're trying to look for or what you're trying to gather from your mentor, I think, in advance. But be open also, I think, be open because that's the whole idea, right? Learning new things, um, learning un unexpected things from your mentor. So, but have fun doing it. You know, it doesn't need, I mean, I think Kathleen already figured it out, but it does not have to be structured. It does not have to be formal, right? It just whatever fits for you. I think if you if you need it formal, make it formal. But if you want to have fun and go along and do the whole um, through the whole program, I think you should have fun in doing it. So I think the world is wide open right now. I think there's a lot of opportunities there, and I hope a lot more people get involved in be, becoming mentors. Right. I, yeah. I was just mentioning that today that life is too short not to have fun and and i think that's that's absolutely key so i appreciate you for being that type of spirit um i i run out of questions actually <laughs> yeah i'm gonna test you kathleen so okay. our, during our last meeting what was my one big advice to you and i i had like a i i, I left you with a, like this phrase so to do something right it was an action it was um it was go all in it was like jump in the pool or just and and, and to the viewers out there I, I i did turn to kurt about um wanting to focus on my business and he is all about doing things 100 percent. and i know it was just a conversation but like what we talked about was instrumental in me kind of putting everything aside and focusing on my business 100%. Yeah. And if you ever get an email from Kurt, it, it says it on his email. <laughs> his email <laughs> signature is 100%. Very simple and succinct, but also straight to the point. So yeah, I mean, I'll talk to you more about that and, and hopefully get more guidance from you. But I, I am in, you know, I, I am humbled and thankful that you were one of the people that encouraged me to just Go for it. <laughs> Kathleen, I would never advise you to jump in the pond. That's the words I use, right? Jump in the pond sometimes. But if I didn't believe that you could do it, that too. You know, um, so I know you can do it. And a lot of people out there, I know they can do it. And they're always scared to jump in. They don't know how deep it is or how shallow it is. But, you know, after you sort of find out that you can jump in, jump in. I always believe in that. You can always come up. There's no such thing as failure in life. When you fail, you don't try. When you don't try, you fail, but I say always, right? But I've failed many times and I've learned many times. And I think that's what I wanna pass on to you and I think other people and younger generations out there. Well, thank you, Kurt. Um, and I, I will keep that in mind because that, that's pretty, pretty powerful, right? Sometimes people stop at failure and they, figure like that's a def that's what defines them and it does but it also shouldn't be what stops you from moving forward so right. thank you for that thank you for the pop quiz kurt <laughs> <laughs> hey i gotta put you on the line too right so yeah well on that note um we are reaching the end of our program so once again we have um, Kurt Osaki of Osaki Creative Group on the show talking about mentoring young professionals. My name is Kathleen Lee. I do want to thank Jay Fidel and the entire staff at Think Tech Hawaii for making programs like this possible. We had Haley helping us out today. So thank you, everyone, and stay safe. Aloha. <laughs>